food stamps. Maybe he'll give me an EBT card. Or maybe he'll come and build up a new uh, housing project that looks slightly better than the old housing project that I live in today. Read what you got. Exodus chapter 23, verse 8. And thou shalt take no gift. A 420 weed festival is a gift. It is a gift. It is something to numb your minds and make you forget that you are in oppression. It is something to make you forget that you live in the projects to this very day. Ask yourself, who else's community has nonsense like this in it? And then furthermore, there, there's, read it again, bro. Verse 8, and thou shalt take no gift, for the gift blindeth the wise. The Bible says a gift. A 420 festival blindeth the wise. The Most High God gave the children of Israel, that is you, black man and black woman, that is you, Hispanic man and Hispanic woman, that is you, uh, Native American uh, man and woman. God gave you all of the wisdom of the, of the world, all of the wisdom of what he created. He gave it to you. The Bible says thou should take no gift because the gift does what? A gift blindeth the wise. The wise is you. You are the wise, but you are blinded because they gave you a weed festival. Now, we too damn high to realize we're in a present. Sisters, come talk to me real quick. Bring them over here, y'all. What's your name, sis? Come to, we're not gonna bite, sis. We out here for you, right? We out here to teach about the nonsense that fills up your communities, right? Y'all y'all live here, do, do y'all? Okay, all praise, honestly. What's your name, sis? Adriana and? Ray. Raya. Raya, Raya, Adriana. Raya, Adrian, I'm not good with names, so forgive me if I forget, right? Read what you got again. Watch this. Exodus chapter 23, verse 8. Let me ask you this before he reads that. Says, how did we come over to this country? Like our ancestors. Slaves, right? Who did it to us? Right, white people did it, right? Now, who has the ability to pass a law that just 10, 20 years ago, if you had weed in your pocket, I'm talking about just a dime sack, you went to, to jail for like five years for that, 10 years for that, right? And now today, that same man now is, is legal to where he can flood your community, just your communities, because you're not going to go in white people communities and see this. You're not going to go in Chinese communities and see this. Right. You're not going to go in Arab communities and see this. Right. Well, that's, that's where the niggas live. Give them, yeah, I, I know that sounds bad, right? That's that's how they see them. That's okay, sis. That's okay. You didn't, you didn't know, sis. I, what I am out here to do is give you, I'm, I'm a wolf proof you, sis. Right. I'm a devil proof you, right? Read what you got. First, Exodus chapter 23, verse 8. And thou shalt take no gift. The gift is, like, if I come into your house, right, beat you up, kill your children, uh, take all your food, take all your money, then a week later I say, hey, man, here's $100. Go buy yourself something nice. Do you care? That's, that's what this is. Your ancestors was raped, robbed, murdered, enslaved. The entire country was built on their back. And here, here, nigga, smoke some weed. Right. That's what that is. That's what that is. Is it not? Watch this. Read. Verse 8. And thou shalt take no gift. The Bible says take no gift. Who's the gift from? Your enemy. The people that hate your guts. Read. For the gift blindeth the wise. What's the gift do? The gift blindeth the wise. You so blinded by the gift that you still can't see. They don't do this in nobody else's community. That's right. They don't bring this to nobody else's community, and right. if they did, there will be an uproar to get this out of their community. Right. There will be a petition sign that's sent up to the governor. Yeah, we 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 didn't ask y'all to bring a weed festival with you trying to pollute our kids? You trying to make our kids grow up and, and be numb in the mind and, and be something? You trying to make our kids like them Negroes over there? Right. Yeah, no, nah, we don't want that. Take right. that over there to, to where them people live in the ghetto. Right. So that's what happens in their communities. Right. But over here, where we live, read it again. And thou shalt take no gift. For the gift blindeth the wise. You are the wise because God gave you the wisdom and the understanding. That is why every nation on the planet wants to look like you. And yet you want to look like every other nation. This is why the Kardashians will put collagen in their lips, get breast implants, get butt injections to look like you to sleep with a black man. And we will, our sisters will dye their hair blonde to look like the white woman. Right. Make sense? Does that make sense? So why we do it? That's the gift that blinds the way. You so blinded by the gift, by the weed festival, and by June, uh, what is it, Juneteenth, and Christmas, and Thanksgiving, all of which are demonic, all of which are unbiblical, all that do not please God. You're so blinded by those gifts, you can't even see. You don't be watching Keeping Up With The Kardashians for 19 seasons. How the hell they go so far that they will kill themselves to look like me? And I got blonde hair on my head to look like them. That's crazy. You won't even see it, it because you've been blinded by a gift. The wisdom that God gave you to... It's, wisdom is just common sense. 
common sense tell you they want to be you. Common sense tell you, you look at them, they want to be you. That's the wisdom. But when, when, when the gift comes, we forget common sense. That's what happens. Read it again. Verse 8, and thou shalt take no gift, for the gift blindeth the wise and perverted the words of the righteous. Perverted the words of the The words of the righteous of the Bible. We have Bibles in our houses. We have had Bibles in our communities since we came over here. We have had Bibles, and some of us have Bibles on our coffee tables right now. We just glossed over and looked at it before we walked outside and said, let's go get this weed. Right. That's what happened. The Bible says the gift destroys the heart and blindeth the eyes of the wise. The wise are you, black man and black woman, but you too blind to see that your wisdom is being obstructed. Right? Drop that. Drop that. All right? So give, give me uh, Psalm 94, right? Psalm 94. Read that again. I'm going to show you something because we, we come out here all the time and we see the same nonsense. And the question is, is who is going, who loves living out here in the projects? Who loves waking up and another one of your brothers got put to death? Or no one of your brothers got locked up for 20 years? Or no one of your brothers had to uh, get released, he home on bail because of some nonsense? Or which one of y'all like seeing y'all mothers or y'all daughters wake up and they're a baby mother in the projects? Which one of you love it? Based on what I see, you love your oppression. You love waking up to this nonsense every day because you celebrate it. You are celebrating your, your uh, destruction. You're celebrating your slavery, black man and black woman. Read what you got. Psalm chapter 94 verse 16. Who will rise up for me? The Bible says who is going to rise up for the Lord? Who is going to rise up against evil? This is evil as hell. And you know it, but you don't care because you've been blinded by gifts. Read. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who's going to stand up and teach God's people? Who's going to wake up and go to the sons and daughters of the living God and teach them to stop sagging their parents, to stop laying down with women that you do not intend on making your wife, to stop laying down with men that you don't intend on being a wife too, to stop having children out of wedlock, to stop smoking weed until you numb in the mind and now you can't function, you can't work a job, you can't take care of your responsibilities, you can't take care of your children. To stop being whoremongers and whores. To stop dressing like whoremongers and whores. To stop being homosexuals. To stop falling for the trap and the okie doke. Read it again. Who will rise up for me? I can see evil doers. Or who will stand up for me? I can the workers of iniquity. Right, drop that. Give me uh, um, First Peter 4. Watch this. First Peter uh, chapter 4 and verse 1. Because we're not out here teaching something that we are oblivious to. Many of us was blinded before. Many of us used to smoke weed too. We were numb too. Many of us used to get drunk and whore around and whoremonger around. Many of us used to be out here at the 420 festival. Many of us used to do the same things that you used to do. And that's why we have the understanding to tell you, you shouldn't be doing these things. It is a dead end. It is only going to lead to a path of destruction. That is all it is going to lead to. And the problem is, you know that. You know that. But the gift destroyeth the wise. Read what you got. First Peter chapter 4, verse 1. Listen up, brother, with the Laker jersey on. Listen carefully. For as much then as Christ had suffered for us huh? in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. Right. The Bible says, as Christ walked, arm yourselves with the same mind. What Christ be many of us, I was talking to a sister earlier. The sister said, I'm a Baptist. Out here at a 420 festival. So I, I asked myself, hmm, self, would Jesus be out here smoking weed? Would Jesus be out here okay with our sisters dressing immodestly? Would Jesus Christ be okay with us having our children out here at a weed festival? Right. Is, that, is that Jesus? Is that Christ? Is that what Christ would do? The Bible says the same mind that was in Christ, arm yourselves with. Christ would be caught dead out here right. at a weed festival. And if he was out here, he would be flipping over tables, telling your black behind to repent. Right. Put some clothes on. Stop smoking weed. Stop falling for the okie doke of the devil. That's what Christ would be saying. Read. Teach. Likewise, with the same mind, for he that had suffered in the flesh had ceased from sin. Right. Christ suffered and died for you so that you could understand the example that you have. Christ wasn't out here smoking. Christ abstained from sin. We used to scream black power. While Heron was pushed But at the end of the day Nothing's in vain IUIC Has been given a vision The tents of Judah has risen Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes Gave us the spark 
We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.